Dear healthy people, I think we've all been in relationships before that have ended badly, okay? Uh, and usually we blame it on the other person, something they did to us, right? So I think that's a relatable example. So I want to, to talk to you about that. How did you deal with being single for the rest of your life after that happened to you? Oh, oh, you weren't single for the rest of your life. You actually continued to date. Wow, how optimistic of you. I guess you were able to do that because some part of you realized that the actions of that one person weren't representative of humanity as a whole. Well, that's some very clear-headed thinking on your part. Well done. I am proud of you for that. Good job. There's another situation in life where that same level-headed, reasoned thought process would be most welcome, and that's when we're talking about people who take opioids for chronic pain. Because unfortunately, there are people who have known other people to become addicted to opioids, and because of their experience with that person, they project onto the chronic illness community that anyone who takes opioids is automatically an addict. And that is just not the case, okay? That makes no sense when you break it down rationally. I mean, go back to the relationship example. If the person that hurt you happened to be a brunette and you went through the rest of your life never trusting or never talking to a brunette, that's crazy, right? We get that. I mean, it's the same thing. It's the exact same logic or lack of logic, twisted logic, if you will. And unfortunately, it's having real impact on innocent people who just want a life without pain, or at least less pain. You see, access to opioids is now being heavily restricted in many cases, if not outright taken away from people in other cases. And it's driving innocent law-abiding people to find their pain relief through street drugs. And as a result, many people are overdosing accidentally because it's street drugs it's not regulated, you have no idea what you're getting, but they had no choice anymore. And this has to stop, okay? When you generalize like this, when you stereotype an entire group of people based on the actions of a few, you dehumanize them. And when you dehumanize an entire group of people, bad things happen. Come on, America. Opioids are not the enemy and the chronically ill are not all addicts. The majority of them are your friends and your neighbors, and in some cases, your family members who just want a better quality of life. We are better than this, aren't we? Of course, that's just my opinion. Sincerely, Ken.